Hello, hello, this is Janet with Brush by Design Creations on Thursday evening um, at my regularly scheduled time. Just getting all my things set up. Uh, hopefully this is a good, my, my, um, my, what do you call it, is loose. But uh, anyways... Hey Sue, how you doing? I am just getting everything set up and I'm gonna turn my lights up a little bit. Kind of makes it hard for me to to look into the actual camera. So I've got um, let's see. Hey Sue, um, so I'm just gonna set up my computer here. Let me refresh my screen so that I can see comments. Um, and then I also want to double check and make sure that I can see everything okay. And then I am also trying to record uh, on another phone there. I can't tell if it's actually recording. There we go. Now it's recording. Um, anyways, I am going to work on these birch trees. So let me um, let me get those comments queued up um, and make sure that everything can be seen. Um, trying the horizontal thing, and I've got. My workshop is kind of full, so I've got, uh, yeah, you can see it all. It's in there. So I've got some colors uh, set out. Um, I am just about gone with my Silver Fox. I'm using all I Love Q tonight. I've got the Silver Fox. Excuse me while I uh, take off my shoes. Um, I've been at work all day long, and it's just way more comfortable to not have my shoes on, believe it or not, <laughs> as I paint. Oh, yes, that feels good. They've been on all day long. I feel like Mr. Rogers. Like, should I put on some slippers or something here? I do have my paint shirt on, though. Oh, this is my favorite flannel um, that's actually been bleached. And uh, it's nice and comfy, and I like to wear it. It makes me feel comfortable when I paint. So I don't wear an apron. I wear, I wear my paint shirt. Uh, anyways, I've got Dark Ages out. I've got some more Missing Hue out and uh, this gray. And um, I'm just going to continue on with these birch trees the same way that I was working on them on the side, which I did completely off camera. Every once in a while, it's just kind of nice to do that. Hey, Tina, how you doing? Sorry, I'm looking over there because I've got uh, it's hard to see with that light shining in my face. I've got the comments up on my computer over there on my office chair. Um, so I do have some, well, I don't know if you've been watching my page or seeing any of my posts or anything, but I do have some exciting news to share. Uh, I'm kind of doing um, something new. I've got a little paint blob in here. Let me get that out. Actually, it almost doesn't matter because I'm just going to be using a tiny bit of the gray anyways. Got my messy paint palette, paint everywhere, but it's all dry. <laughs> um, I actually scrape this. This is all acrylics from doing my canvas painting, and I actually take and just scrape this off. And I've got, um, I've got, yeah, I've got blobs dried up on here. So I try to stay as green as I possibly can. Um, but uh, I am going to this. This is very rough. Oh, I see. Let me get that. Yep. Okay. I'm going to leave the drawers in because I need to kind of visualize what this is going to be like. I'm going to start right in the center and um, just start laying out some of this gray um, paint. Uh, I almost wish that I could see the side of it at the same time. Ooh, I can kind of in my computer. If I turn this a little bit, I can see it on the screen in my computer there. Um, so I am just going to try and do a little bit of the same of what I did. I'm probably going to need to grab, I am going to need to grab my water bottle. It's, oh, right behind me. So that's good. I am going to maybe just squirt a little bit. This is pretty dry in here. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm using up the last of the Silver Fox. I believe Silver Fox has been a discontinued color as well. So um, I can make this with my, I could also make this with just mixing the Missing Hue and the Dark Ages, but I have it, so I thought I'd go ahead and, and use it. Uh, 
on this project. But I'm actually, now that I think about it, I do want to concentrate. Let me just take a peek on the other side here. Um, I do want to concentrate like the light is coming from this side. And so I want, I'm going to want this side to be darker, I believe. So I'm going to make it darker on, I know this is my left, it's your right. I'm going to make it darker on the, on, um, your right here, uh, my left. And that'll mostly come into play, I think, when I use some of the black on here. But I'm just going to get some of this gray in and just give this some layered uh, dimension, really, is what I'm doing. So this is, uh, I'm taking my inspiration from a tutorial from Llewellyn from Warm to, Warm to Whimsy because I am in her um, paid membership group and uh, she is trying to teach us everything she knows. I don't always learn. Um, well, I kind of put my own spin on it, I guess you could say, which is really what we need to do as artists, right? So she, uh, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and go up and down here and I can always paint over a lot of this. So it's really just an experimental process that I take. I just layer and layer and I don't like it. I can just put some missing hue over it. Um, yeah, the green is a little harder. I'm trying to make sure that I stay nice and clean on the green because that is a blend. And so that is harder to work with if I, if I mess up. And that is why one of my um, birches on the other side got a little pregnant looking. So, oh, thank you, Sue. Well, so I can give you, well, I think I posted a picture of the whole thing. I didn't really want to necessarily. This, this tree looks pregnant. <laughs> I'm going to fix that. I'm going to fix that. Not on tonight's live. I won't make you watch me do that, but, um, I feel it looks a little on the pregnant side, so I'm going to probably bring it down and make the base of it a little bit fatter. So I just figured you guys probably don't really want to see me do the boring stuff, so I'm going to do a little more of this stuff so you can see this birch tree take shape. There is, uh, so there's definitely texture. This is not a smooth um, when I laid down the missing hue, I did not concentrate on having any sort of a, a smooth um, finish or anything because I did want, I do want that texture. You know, trees are not smooth and perfect and all of that good stuff. So I've got some, I almost have some um, pretty rough spots here that I'm using. So you can kind of see here that I'm using that to my advantage in uh, letting it show that, that texture. Not sure if I'm really crazy about the branches, but as I, as I maybe, I might use some white on that first before I start covering. You know what, I'm just gonna cover it with a gray at this point and I can add white after the fact. I'm gonna almost paint these in all in the gray and add back the white. So um, the branch, I can, you know, the the actual tree itself, like the, the what do you call that? The trunk um, and whatnot is, hey, five and dime out cycled. If you sealed your blend before you painted your trees, could you avoid that issue? Um, oh yeah, if I sealed this right here before I started painting the trees, definitely. Definitely, because then I could obviously, if I've sealed it, I could just go ahead and, um, you know, if I over over sprayed or over painted, I could um, just wipe it back. So I did not do that. Um, so we're we're just winging it. So uh, on this tree or on this branch here, when I painted this the other day. I uh, made this branch going behind that. So I want to maintain that and, uh, you know, go ahead and do this branch, uh, you know, still in the front, this, this one from this tree. 
is going in the front. So, but again, even though I've got, I do have the white light base, uh, this is the gray in essence is, is almost a base as well. So, Hey Patty, how you doing? Um, so that's what's happening over here. Just playing, going back and forth, trying to decide how much gray I want. Uh, when I get the black, when I start putting the black in, uh, that is really when it's going to start to pop. But I am going to kind of concentrate on, uh, again, your, what is that, your right? Um, this is my left, but I'm going to concentrate on being darker over here. But that doesn't mean that I need all of this white. All right. Sometimes I have to be careful because, you know, sometimes less is more. And I have a tendency to overpaint. So, um, but you know what, it, it's all layers, it's all about layers. So I can, even if I do that, I can just add the white back in. Um, so see, so yeah, I think, well, on my other tree, when I was doing this, I was working on trying to fix, trying to fix these areas where I, you know, kind of got a little wonky, uh, on the edge. And that's what I was trying to fix when I got my pregnant tree over there. I keep saying it's pregnant, but you know, all trees are not, they do not grow evil equally. So, um, that's, that's okay for me to have that be a little uneven, you know, a little, uh, like here I could add some more white, but I'm just going to go ahead and maybe start with that gray and then add some white back in. The smaller trunks are a little harder for me to do. I've got to get smaller brush and uh, they tend to be a little bit harder. So, but I had mentioned on my description there that I had some news to share. I don't know if you saw my post. I, uh, well, for those of you that follow me, uh, you know that I like to do and can't really see them, but I like to do paint parties on canvas. And so I've been doing in-person paint parties and I have decided to start a paint once a month painting virtual on um, my Facebook page. And I'm going to create a private membership group where um, I'm going to send out, um, this is like, this is all of the designs that I'm able to use. I am going to send out the tracers, the supply lists, and um, do an online virtual tutori tutorial. So basically we're gonna have an online paint party once a month in that group. And I am super, super excited about it, about being able to do that. These are some of the examples of some of the designs that I can actually, um, that I'm actually offering already. Like this one, this one here, uh, this Highland Cow has been super popular. I've taught quite a few in-person paint parties. I've got another one coming up in May um, and have so far sold, uh, well, I only have two tickets left at a restaurant. So I've got um, a lot of people signed up for that. But so that would be fun to offer. That is a virtual uh, paint party. Uh, Patty's kind of been a, I did do it for free on my page one time. I had um, done that with Patty. She was a guest on my page, but we only got through about an hour of it. Um, so if you look at my posts from today, you'll see the post. Uh, I'm basically opening up that group for a limited amount of time. I'm calling it the um, uh, Founders uh, Membership to start, uh, just if anyone is interested in helping me like shape the group and the content and everything that goes with it, uh, I'm going to get that running and then I will, then I will start, uh, concentrating, you know, after I get kind of all my ducks in a row, I guess you'd say, after I get the, everything developed and, and working right, then I'm going to open it up to the public. So, you know, beyond my followers anyways. Uh, I'm going to go back to this brush. So I'm super excited about that. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it, Patty? I was sorry that we couldn't finish it, but you know, I can't, 
I don't ever get that cow. I mean, you know, to do that um, Highland cow in an hour is uh, unheard of in as a paint party. Um, you know, it takes a it's a two hour it's a two hour thing. So, uh, but um, but I'm I'm super excited about that portion of my business. Um, as you can tell, so that was kind of my news that I was going to share. If you hadn't seen my post yet from the day from today, um, and if you're interested in something like that, go back to my post for today, and you'll see that invite, or, or you know, me basically saying, "Hey, I don't have everything figured out. I uh, am working on all the details." I just wanted to see if there was anybody that wanted to help me. D um, not, I mean, not that I'm asking you to help me like with content in the group or anything like that, but if you wanted to um, jump in when it's still all brand new and I'm developing it and figuring it out, kind of get in on the ground floor. Um, I've got one price and then you know, when I do open it up for the group, that price will be, will be higher. So one of the incentives of that is to, uh, you know, get in at that price and then you're locked into that price the whole time, as long as you're, as long as you're a member of the group. So in a nutshell, I'm just planning up front to do uh, one painting a month and, um, and then develop it from there and see where that goes. So I am kind of on these trees that I'm doing, I am kind of making it so that it's a little bit uh, um, rounded instead of just straight. Uh, so as I paint it on or, or um, get it on there, I, I am kind of like arching a little bit so that it's not straight. And because less is more, in this particular case, I am being careful and only adding a little bit of paint at a time. And I see that this got a little messy down here, so I'm gonna kind of clean this up with the gray. Could, uh, I could bring in the white as well, and I might, I might in this area. Of course, when I did that with the other one, that's when I, that's when I got it a little wider than I wanted. So, Patty, you'll help me? That would be awesome. I'm trying to think of a name for it as well. So if anybody, I kind of posted, see how I might take some green and, and touch this up if I can uh, mix, if I can mix my, so I was using this um, Enchanted Emerald and uh, you can all see me still, right? I'm not covering anything up, hopefully. Um, that enchanted emerald and the, um, their, their blackest is their dark ages. I, I'll probably mix it on a plate because this is tends to be really dark and I can probably, um, you know, clear up some of those, some of those marks there and I can play with it. And if it's got some variation, that's okay as well. So what's everyone else up to? Are you looking forward to the weekend? You've been having a good week, good weather. I went and had, um, so my grandson, for those of you that know me, he lives with us, with his dad, and his birthday is on Saturday. And we picked this week for his very, his important, no, what do they call it? Important, special person? important person of the week I can't remember but kindergarten you know they have each each child gets a week and then they get to do all all kinds of fun things um, they get to bring in toys they get to bring in books 
to read to the class and and so today I went to have lunch with him so of course you know when I said oh hey do you want me to go have lunch with you today he said yes bring me subway <laughs> so I took him subway for lunch what kid doesn't like subway right oh now I see I've got a stray a stray spot there so I have to decide do I make this tree bigger what do you think? Do I go bigger on this tree? Anybody have an opinion? Can you see that on the camera actually? So right here, I've got a stray, I didn't just do that tonight, so that's stray white, and then I've got some bleeding happening there, not bleeding, but um, I just kind of went over. So I just wonder if I should make him bigger or not. I think I'm going to hold off on it for right now. So, hey Pam, how you doing? Um, five and Dime. I can't recall your first name. I know I've watched you. Beautiful day today, but rain for the next five days. And you're, are you north? Um, I can't recall where you're from, but so yeah, where's everybody watching from? Um, I'm in Minnesota. We had a nice day. Um, all right, we're going to just continue with the gray over here. We had a nice day today. Uh, I don't know, maybe 60 ish. I just know I didn't have to wear a jacket all day. Well, I, I refuse to take out my winter jacket anymore. So, um, even if it is cold, I'm not wearing a winter jacket. Let's see. Uh, I was going to fix this. So it looks like I've got some other green to fix. So I will be getting out the green to decide how far that tree is going to go down. If, um, that's in the camera there, but... I am going to close my door real quick. I think I hear somebody come in. So. Yes, they are home. So I forgot to close my door. Nobody was home before. But oh, we're all still good in the camera, right? I need more water. kind of hard because this one's a little more on the difficult side because it's I went ahead and put the tree on the edge so I've got the break here and it makes it a little bit harder to paint that So I do want to get, I would like to, I'll uh, maybe work on this a little bit here and then work on bringing in some of the black on just one of the trees and kind of show you how that changes and starts to make it look like an actual birch. Yeah, this is... Um, can I bring this out? Let me bring that out a little. That'll make it a little bit easier. So you can see that this is a real rough finish here, and that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, I did not want a smooth finish. I'll just keep moving my way up. And if I feel like I got too much gray, then I'll go ahead and bring in some white again. 
I did paint the lips, but I noticed, I mean, the, the tops of these, but I think I, I'm going to need to go ahead and paint those white. I have them painted the base color, but I believe I'm going to paint them white and come in and clean those up. So I don't know if anyone has any questions for me. I'll uh, take a look here. Did you miss anything? Hmm. I don't know, Patty. <laughs> um, I mean, you were here when I shared about, about the new group, right? I'm going to try and get this gray finished up here so that I can go ahead and move on to some of the black to kind of just show you how I do that as well. And again, it's not like I've been painting birch trees forever, but um, Llewellyn is an awesome teacher. I think up here I might want to get some white in. I'm going to actually grab a little bit of white. Put that right on this. Let's get this filled in a little bit more. This is a little challenging when you've got all these crevices and cracks and the differences in, in the drawer openings and all of that stuff, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to let that white dry before I do anything else. Oh. So, let me get that back on there. All right, uh, let's see. I think I'm going to take a little bit of the white. Clean this edge up here, too. I am using the same brush. You've probably noticed that, but I'm not worried about it because again, this is just going to get, um, you know, the whole idea is for this to be fairly mixed. Uh, lots of texture, lots of, la lots of layers. And so I'm not worried about the fact that I've, I've got gray on here and I'm, I'm putting white on it. Um, when I get to this stage. I'm less worried about that. And then I'm really just brushing back and forth, kind of really lightly, I guess you could say. Uh, Still wondering if I need to add some more branches. I'm not going to address that tonight, I don't think. What time is it? 7 o'clock. I don't think I'll address that tonight. I think what we'll do is let me take a quick glance on the side here to um, just reacquaint myself with how I did the black. See, this got really wide. If you can see that, this, this got really, this got wider than what I wanted. So I believe I'm going to pull. Um, actually I'm here. I believe I'm going to pull the white down. Probably shouldn't do this at an angle, but I think I'm going to pull it down and bring it and just make it a little bit wider on the bottom there to make up for that. I just can't get that vision out of my head of the tree looking pregnant. So I figured if I widen the base, and pull this out, I'll fix that after this all dries. I'll go ahead and redo the black and different things like that. Pull that over. I don't know. I just think that looks better. It just carries the thickness down and then it kind of gets thinner up on the top and I'm okay with that. So 
So maybe when I look on it, I could go possibly a little bit more over here, but I'm gonna do that when I'm not at an angle. So let's leave that alone for right now. Um, all right. So again, I've got white paint, the gray paint. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna wipe it off just a little bit. I sprayed it and I'm just gonna wipe it off a little bit. So yes, that looked better. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll work on that a little bit more. Said, said you'd help me. Okay, come, help me come up with a name for the group. I thought maybe something like virtual, virtual paint, virtual monthly paint parties, virtual paint party. I don't know. Maybe I should have, I, I'm thinking I should have something in there about the monthly. I'm going to keep it super simple and um, non-stressful um, and uh, work with just folks that just want some art in their life. Uh, I like to jokingly say it is fun art, not fine art. So my idea is not to paint you or to uh, teach you how to paint a masterpiece but how, you know, just to get together and maybe even over some wine or tea or whatever it is you're drinking at home. And I'm even thinking about doing, um, I'm even thinking about doing it Zoom so that we're all, we can all interact at the same time and making it more community than you just watching me and then not being able to talk. So that's kind of my plan. All right. I'm going to quit talking here while I figure out where I'm going to place this. do want it coming out both ways just kind of randomly and like I say I have a tendency sometimes to do sometimes to do too much okay somebody want to tell me where I put my paint uh, seriously oh there it is <laughs> I put it up so I probably wouldn't spill it um, anybody else do that? So the black, I'm doing less of the black than I did the gray. And I'm not always good at random. You know, I'm an accountant. Random. Uh, does tend to be one of my sticking points. So I have to intentionally be random. Is that possible? If you're intentional about it, is it really random? I don't know. <laughs> so let me catch my time there. I don't want to keep anybody too long. Now, I know there's a little more advanced option of, um, you know, like making it look like there's uh, kind of like knots in the tree and whatnot. Um, see, there I go. I'm probably getting too heavy handed there, so I'm going to stop. But I don't know if I'm going to go that far uh, just because I'm keeping this one simple. All right, let's see. We can do the same thing. I'm just going to kind of use the edge of my brush. That's not working so much. Maybe I will take my round. This one kind of gives me a different, oops, I let it dry a little bit. I know what I need. I need a smaller flat. The round, no, the round's not going to work. Let me wet that down so it doesn't ruin that brush. It's one of my favorite brushes. Um, let's add a smaller flat. I can get a little more control. In where I put it. I 
I may bring some more white in after I, you know, I'm going to just try and I'm going to lay this down and then, yeah, see that's not getting so random. I'm going to add in some almost like dry brushing because I did that on the other side. And then I might just pull in some more white and layer it over this if I feel like I've gotten it too heavy. Has anybody painted birch trees before? I don't know if Pam's still on. I bet you Pam has. Okay, I'm going to go down. I want to kind of go every other, but not really getting, I don't want to go consistent that way either though. So on Sunday, I um, get to go teach a, a furniture painting class. So that's fun. So I don't know if I'm missing any comments here. Nope. Okay, I'll keep going. Yeah, I'm, I'm live, honey. I only need about five more minutes. Only about five more minutes and then I can help you. I finished my meatball sub. I can have my snack. Okay. Um, can you give me five minutes and then we'll talk about it, okay? Okay, so uh, he's not going to wait for me. There he goes in the refrigerator. I'm going to kind of take this along the bottom and make this a little darker than the rest. And now there's a chair. There's, there's a chair. You can close my door, Terry. He opened it and came in. So I do want these a little darker. I can do that. A little darker than um, the actual trees. So um, I'm okay if I get like black throughout the whole thing. But I can also alternate some white over the, oops, that got a little dark. And then I want to make it darker so it's like shadows, kind of right there by the, well, he's having a meltdown, so <laughs> I don't know, but uh, anyways, so that really makes a difference and makes the branches look a little better. I mean, I'm not... Branches are a little more difficult for me. So let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, a little on the heavy side. But that's okay. It is only paint and it is completely fixable. Let me get some of that off. brush actually works a lot better than the small one. So we'll do that for right now. 
You sit right there. Okay, how's um, that looking? Um, that top fell full the ice cream. Got pop full the ice cream. Yeah? Yeah. Well, he was probably thinking you should wait till I was done. We'll talk about it when I'm done, okay? I All right, so him. I'm just going to finish up this branch. Here is my hair hanging from the paint. <laughs> he just gave me I'm two bites. I'm worst than a dog. Two bites of it. All right, let's see. So that, yep, that got a little on the heavy side. So I'm using the bigger brush and I just uh, put some black on it, but I can come back. Why y'all do so bit. much? Ezra, please wait. Um, can come back with some of the white. Don't, he's good. He's good. Um, okay. Yeah, let's fix this a little bit here. And then we'll finish up. All right. Kind of filling in some of those. You probably can't see some of the details of what I'm actually working on. And I might lighten, I'm going to lighten that black up, seeing how it has dried a little bit. YouTube doesn't work. I'll have to wait till that dries a little more to get that, to get that straightened up. So thanks, Sue. I'm going to call it a night. I will attack that other tree. Maybe I'll do it off, off, um, off the uh, live here. But uh, so just um, excited to be offering uh, these different paintings. Uh, maybe I'll post some pictures of them on my Facebook page. But I have access to all of these to be able to offer uh, on that virtual online paint um, party group that I am that I'm going to be um, creating. So uh, that was my big news. This, this is my um, this is a really cool book uh, that's like a magazine that has all of the um, all of the designs and everything in it. So so check out my post on my page from earlier today, and I'm sure I'll be sharing some more about it. And thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, I will be, well, I should be live on Monday on I Love Hughes page, and I'm not sure what I'm going to be working on yet. Uh, I've got to pick that. I still have a paint pour to do on those stools. And otherwise, I get, I'm get. i pretty sure I'm clear to go for next Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, right here on my page. Um, and we'll see where I'm at on this dresser and or if I'm picking a new project. So, Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next week and uh, everyone have an awesome weekend. Bye.